In this video, you're going to learn how to write the equation of a quadratic, which is a parabola, but we're going to be given a vertex and a point that the graph goes through. So the equation that you're going to want to be familiar with is this quadratic equation here in vertex form, where h and k are the vertex, or the point where that parabola bends. And so if we're going to solve for this equation, sometimes what I like to do is just draw a little graph just to kind of visualize. So we have a vertex here at 2, negative 3, and it's going through the point 3, comma 0. And remember that parabolas, they're symmetric about that vertex. So if I was to fold this over, I'd have another corresponding point like that. So there is our parabola right there, and we want to get an equation for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this uh, general form, the vertex form, and I'm going to plug in our vertex h and k. So it's going to look something like this. y equals a times x minus 2, the x-coordinate of the vertex, squared minus 3. Now you might be saying, Mario, why is this minus 2 when this is a positive 2? Well, see how this says x minus h? Another way that students sometimes like to think about it is this number that's grouped with the x, it has the opposite effect on the graph. The minus 2 is actually shifting it positive 2 to the right. And this k value, the minus 3, has the same effect. It's shifting it down 3. Now, all we have to do is solve for this a value, and that's why they're giving us this additional point on the graph, 3, 0. So this is our x and this is our y. So let's go ahead and substitute 0 in for y, 3 in for x, and then we can solve for a. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So this comes out to a minus 3, and all we have to do is add 3 to both sides of the equation to get a by itself, and a is equal to 3. Now we're going to take that 3, we're going to put it back in for a here, and now we've got our equation of our quadratic in vertex form. If you want to rewrite this in the standard form, you can think of this as x minus 2 times another x minus 2, multiply those together, then multiply by 3, then subtract 3, put it in descending order, and that'll be in your standard form. If you want to see another example and you want to test yourself and get some practice, which I recommend, follow me over to that video right there and we'll do some more practice. I'll see you there.